Hey, today I'm going to show you how to reflect across the x-axis. Reflect across the x-axis, we have to use this rule. We have to use x, y translates to x, comma, opposite of y. So to use this rule, all I do is I change my y to the opposite. So what I have to do first is I got this rectangle, and first thing I got to do is write down my points. So I have u, t, s, r. Okay, UTSR, the four points, and those four points have coordinates, and I'm going to write down those coordinates on the side of my screen here. So for U, the coordinates are negative 5, negative 5. So negative 5, negative 5. For T, the coordinates are 3, negative 5. For S, the coordinates are 3, negative 10. And for R, our last point, the coordinates are negative 5, negative 10. Okay, so to get my new points, all I have to do is change my y when I'm reflecting over the x-axis. So I'm going to have u prime, t prime, s prime, r prime. And all I'm going to do is change the y. So I have negative 5 stays the same as my x. Then the negative 5y changes to a positive 5. Mm -hmm. The negative 5 changes to a positive 5. The x stays the same at 3. Change negative 10 to 10. And for the last point r, negative 5 stays the same. And I change negative 10 to 10. Alright, so with my new coordinates, I'm going to plot the points. So I'm going to plot u to t first. So I'm going to go to negative 5, 5 as my u prime, negative 5, 5, and draw that over to 3, 5. Then I'm going to take that point and I'm going to draw it from that point to negative 5, uh, 3, 10. And my last point is over here. Draw my figure. 